these aren't just made-up melodies. The 700 residents of the northeastern Indian village of Kong Thong each have a name in the form of a song. It's known as the Whistling Village of India, and the practice may be unique to the Khasi people here. The names are composed by their families at birth. The song I will sing now belongs to my daughter Solidarity. We sing it in the fields. Villagers say the tradition dates back at least four centuries. It's meant to express a mother's love for her child. Each name has two versions, a short one and a long one. Suppose we are far away and we want to call our friends or relatives. If we call them by their names or nicknames, there might be some confusion because it doesn't always refer just to a particular person. While with this, we know that it's our own song. Villagers do maintain official names for certain situations. If uh, my mom is not angry, then she will call me by, by, by song or she can just whistling me. But because she's calling me by, the, uh, by my name, then automatically it comes to my mind that I've done something wrong and it's trouble for me. The mountain village in the northeastern state of Meghalaya is several hours trek from the nearest town. But as roads and technology connect Kong Thong to the rest of the world, some worry the whistling will stop. For now, though, Kong Thong's youth are still in tune with tradition. Habiba Hamid, TRT World.